Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to CrocoBlock channel. Recently, we started a series of tutorials dedicated to WooCommerce and Jabu Builder plugin. Don't forget to check our previous video about creating a single product page. The link will be available in the description box below. As always, before we begin, make sure that you have the latest versions of WooCommerce and Jabu Builder installed and that all the necessary product information is added. So this is the second video in our series and today we're gonna create different product grids and start designing a shop page. Let's go to Jewu Builder. Click Add New Template. Select Shop as a template type and name it. You're free to choose any layout or skip it and click Create Template button. Firstly, let's work with the right part of our page. There are a couple of options of how you can showcase the products on your shop page. We will create four different product grids. Jetwo Builder plugin has three awesome widgets for displaying products. Let's take a look at the first two options. In the Elements panel on the left sidebar, either open Jetwo Builder widget section and find Products Grid widget or simply type the widget's name. Let's drag the widget and drop it to the right column. Under the general settings, you'll be able to change the preset and choose the style that better suits your website. Select the appropriate number of columns and a bit below you can toggle on what elements you want to be displayed, enable carousel, compare, wishlist and quick view buttons if needed. Since I'm okay with the thumbnail size, I'm gonna style the rest of the elements. You can also use a product list widget and again select what kind of info should be there, enable the additional buttons and style it. Now we're getting close to my favorite options. So at first we applied two different widgets for a grid and list layout. However, with the product loop widget, you'll be able to use both layouts at the same time. This variant is a bit complicated, but trust me, your customers will 100% love it. Let's apply the widget. As you can see, for now there is only one thing in the settings, switcher. Once it's enabled, two options will appear, main layout and secondary layout. These two layouts require two separate templates. Let's go back to the Woo page builder and create an archive template this time. Select Archive as a template type and name it, let's say, Shop Grid. Pick any layout and click Create Template. Let's delete the default layout and create one from scratch. I'm starting with adding a section. Now let's add a thumbnail, enable Add Link to Title and select Thumbnail Size Full. Next step, Title. Again, add a link and in the style tab, change the text font and color. And lastly, price. We can also add a wishlist and compare buttons. I will change the icon by uploading an SVG file and delete the button label text. In the style tab, first of all, let's change the font size and enable custom button size. In my case, it will be 50 pixels for the width and height. Select the colors. Set border radius to 50 pixels and padding to 15 and don't forget to set colors for the icon. The button is kinda too far from the thumbnail, so let's adjust its position. Proceed to the next tab Advanced and find Positioning. Select Absolute for the position and set horizontal offset to minus 10 pixels and vertical to 10 pixels. Lastly, let's apply Compare button widget and style it, repeating the same steps. At the end, again go to Advanced, Positioning, and this time set Horizontal Offset to minus 10 and Vertical to 70 pixels. Alright, now we need to do one very important step. Once you style the template, go to the Jewu Archive Template settings at the bottom left corner. Open Template Settings and enable Use Custom Columns Count. 
set template columns to 3 and then template columns horizontal gutter to 20 pixels and vertical to 25. Publish the template. Now let's create a second template and name it shop list this time. Add a thumbnail and all the necessary elements. Again, let's open the template's settings. Enable Use Custom Columns Count. There will be one for the template columns and 10 pixels for both horizontal and vertical gutter. Don't forget to publish your template. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now let's open our shop template. Choose the very first template grid that we created for the main layout and set the list template for the secondary layout. Let's style the widget a bit. I'm gonna delete the layout labels. Now in the style tab, let's open control settings, set the colors and change the icon size. To see what we just created, go back to the dashboard and open WooCommerce settings. Jetpool Builder tab. Firstly, enable custom shop page and select the shop template that we just created. Don't forget to enable custom taxonomy template as well. Scroll down a bit to archive product section, enable it and select one of the archive templates. Don't forget to scroll to the bottom of the page and save the changes. And finally, the last option, showcase your products with a fantastic and free add-on for Elementor Jet Grid Builder. Let's try it out. Search for a grid builder in the Elements panel. You'll see two widgets available there, Posts Grid Builder and Terms Grid Builder. I suggest you the first one, Post, but stay tuned and in the next videos I'm going to show you how to apply Terms Grid Builder as well. Drag the widget to the section and open the Content tab. Under the Grid, first of all you need to specify where you want to pull the information from, either Posts, Pages or in our case, Products. Select the products and what we see now is a kind of a standard grid. Once you start grabbing the items and moving them around, you'll see this backing grid with blue squares. It won't be visible on the front end. For now, it's just to help you organize the content on your page. Jet Grid Builder isn't limited to some grids and with the help of this plugin you can play with the items and create an absolutely unique layout. Increase or decrease the space between the items by changing the gutter. Number of columns defines how many those blue squares will be in a row. We skip item type and style as we're working with the products now. What we need is the following options, Woo items. You can leave default for the items type and select content overlay in the item style to achieve a different look or change the type into Jetwoo Builder Archive and in the style select one of those archive product templates that we created in the previous part of this video. If you stick to the default layout, you'll be able to style it in the style tab. So you opt a certain way to showcase your product, and we're halfway to creating our shop page. In the next tutorial, we're gonna step by step create custom product filters and apply the most essential widgets from JetSmart Filters plugin. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.